Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors for elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. So want you out keep pushing this truth with talks of being safe from this coming destruction. She knows the spirit just wanted to start out with uh this is a second address fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, you know. So the most high held by Shemoshah is putting the words of prophecy, you know, in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, you know, is prophecy. And prophecy meaning to tell you something before it happens. You know, these words are not our, our words. You know, we don't uh, to, uh, make these things up. You know, these things are written in the scriptures. You know, it says, uh, it calls them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. You know, so all these all these things are, are that are, uh, you know, written, you know, are actually happening right now. You know, and it's... it's it's a uh, only a select few that's that's able, you know, has been chosen to to see these things, you know, and basically prophesy on them. So it says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee." You know, so the unbelief of, the, of these people, you know, you may have somebody who who uh, you know, at your job, you know, and find out that you're you're pushing this word you know to find out that you believe you know in this truth you know you're not to uh to let their their unbelief you know make you you know let's grab this scripture you know, you're not to make their unbelief you know make your faith go away you know there's a romans 3 and 3 for what if some did not believe show their unbelief Make the faith of the Most High without effect, you know. God forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, you know. So, so what if they don't believe? You know, should that mean, you know, oh, this person don't believe, you know. Or oh, nobody, you know, hardly nobody's going to believe, you know. But is that going, is that going to make it to where the Most High you know, uh, these prophecies are not going to come to pass, you know, but well, clearly you see them happening, you know, every single week is, is more, more and more articles on the mark of the beast, you know, but you continuously have people, you know, people in your family, people at your work, you know, who say that these, these things, you know, oh, that's not going to happen in my lifetime, you know, but well, clearly these things are, are, on the, the, uh, the, they're just rising, you know, they just continuously, uh, you know, happen on a larger scale. But it says, fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their, their unfaithfulness, you know. Those well, two-thirds don't want to, to believe that these things are, are, are happening, you know, and are going to happen. That's ultimately because they weren't, they weren't chosen to 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 understand that, you know. They weren't given these these secrets, you know. Amos three and seven says the the secrets of Yahweh Shai, you know, are given to the service the prophets. So the the unfaithful, you know, the two thirds that don't believe, you know, that's not to to trouble, to be troubled, you know. Ultimately, they'll come back in the kingdom, you know, and they'll be they'll be on point. But it says uh. For all the unfaithfulness shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. You know, under the rulership of you Edomites, man. You know, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. That's why Micah 2 and 10 says, Arise ye and depart, you know, for this is not your rest. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, this is not our rest, man. You know, this place is, is polluted, you know. So let's go, uh... This is Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing or to I sent it, you know. 
So all these things, all these things are coming to pass. You know, these just the uh, two thirds haven't been given the gift to to understand. You know, or perceive what's what is actually going on. You know, so you know that's not to to uh, get us to feel any type of way about it. Let's grab a. Uh, This is uh this is Habakkuk two and one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when he I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at this end it shall speak, you know. So at the end at the vision is for an appointed time. You know, and appointed pretty much goes into, you know, a particular time, you know. And this here is clearly that our particular time because these prophecies are speaking, you know. You got uh, racial tensions at an all-time high, you know. Every day, there's some Edomites around the country, you know, just letting their, their uh, hatred for Jake being shown, you know. But it says, uh. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You know, so it will surely come. And, and it's literally here right now. You know? And it's not tarrying. So, uh, so Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then lift. Look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. You know, so these things are are coming to pass as we speak. You know, so now is the time to lift up our heads. You know, and, and you know, get ready for your house size return. Cause hey, man, with with uh, with all these these things these things going on as we speak. You know. There's there's not much there's not much time left in this place to go, man. Scriptures say that the most high, you know, shall shorten the time for the elect's sake. You know? And these days have been uh, going going quicker than ever, man. You know, quicker than anybody can can remember, man. You know? You even have people in the world that say, damn, you know, it's it's this uh already the end of August. You know? Seem like summer just started, seem like the year just started, man. That's because Yahweh Bashmiel Shai is shortening the time for the elect's sake, man. You know, if he wouldn't, you know, then there'd be no flesh to be saved, man. You know, it's this devil has to be, this devil has to be, his fire got to be put out, man. You know, because he's, he's destroying every damn thing, man. You know, every time you look up, is a new, you know, uh, new article on, on uh, you know, kids and transgender, you know, they're trying to turn them into transgenders. And, and all this BS, man. You know, nothing but death can come from that, man. Nothing but death could come of these this lifestyle, you know that that Esau has set up for people, man. You know. So let me read that again. It says, uh, Luke twenty one twenty eight. And when these things begin to begin to come to pass, then lift up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. You know. So now is that time, man, because. You know, with all the wickedness that's exceedingly polluted this whole earth, man. You know, you know all these prophecies. You know the the mark of the beast, man. You know, these racial tensions. You know, you got uh all these different uproars around the the world, the earthquakes. You know, not much time left in this place to go, man. You know, so now is the time to to get our heads out of this, out of this place, man. You know, and, and more focus. Also, just want to say to Wadi Yahweh Shmi Oshai, putting the Holy Spirit for Kakodash for me to do this lesson. Double honors for elders and apostles for teaching us the truth through this Bible. And Shalom.